This morning, the Confederate flag is no longer flying over Fort Sumter, South Carolina, where Southerners fired the first shots of the Civil War. Legislators may also be ready to remove the flag from outside the State House, where one person faces charges after supporters and opponents of the rebel flag clashed on Monday. Michelle Miller is outside the Emanuel AME Church in Charleston. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. State lawmakers will take up the bill to remove the Confederate flag on July 6th. But every day it continues to fly. Emotions run high on both sides of the issue. In the shadow of the South Carolina State House, a heated confrontation over the Confederate flag. That flag just does not deserve to fly at all in South Carolina. We want it down. Dueling protests led to a clash between people for and against the display of the controversial banner. The blood in my teeth, the blood on my hands, is no comparison to the southern blood that runs through my veins. Joe Lindler was hit during the brawl. To him, racism has no part in the flag. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I ain't sitting down. This will just make me walk taller. We do have tension. We do have feelings and we do have emotions. Just because nine people lost their lives in a church in Charleston, which I'm not downplaying at all, still a tragedy, has nothing to do with that flag standing up there. On a campaign stop in West I'm Columbia on Monday, Republican state. presidential candidate Jeb Bush said the state needs to move forward without it. The symbols that have divided the South in many ways, the symbols that uh, were used in the in most recent modern history, not at, perhaps at the beginning of the time, but the symbols were, were racist. On Saturday, activist Brittany Newsom went 30 feet up the State House flagpole and took the rebel flag down. Newsom was arrested and charged with defacing monuments on Capitol grounds. The flag was put back up immediately, but South Carolina state legislature reportedly has enough votes for the two-thirds majority needed to bring it down for good. Do the right thing and vote with us to bring the flag down. In two weeks, the Ku Klux Klan plans to rally at the State House, but here in Charleston, the focus remains on the final funeral of the nine people killed. It happens today. Gail? All right, All right Michelle, thank you.